three values and adjust man. LK sixteen. You have to know how to adjust first time revaluation as the second time revaluation. LK sixteen. At one very now we discuss first time revaluation. Uh, think about land is the non depreciable assets. This is the trial balance. Think trial balance as at. Thirty first March two thousand twenty four. Uh, land even cost value. Think about example five thousand rupees in thousand. The thing land revaluation amount equal six thousand end of the count periods. Revaluation six thousand end of the count periods. As at thirty first March two thousand twenty four. First time revaluation land is non depreciable assets. Therefore, when you calculate profit and loss, you have to compare with cost value as well as revaluation amounts. Cost value should be compared with revaluation amounts. Land is non depreciable. The thing cost value five thousand, but revaluation amount equal six thousand. Revaluation amount higher than the cost value. Therefore, difference rate should be considered as a profit. Right when recording in the ledger accounts, think if it for land increase, therefore land is on debit, as well as revaluation reserves account credit. If there is a profit, it should be recognized as reserves. If it for land increase, as well as revaluation reserves increase. Equity increase. If it has given company sum, this value should be recorded property plant and equipment schedule. As if this value should be recorded under other company's income in the company sum. The other thing, how to record in the ledger accounts? Uh, you have to prepare land account as a revenue and reserves accounts. Think this is a land and two separate ledger account as a revenue and reserves. First one, balance available trial balance. Take that value as a BBF as a balance going forward. They think profit if it for land increase, land account debit. As revenues and reserves, and revenues and reserves account credit two thousand thousand as land. So this is a double entry. If it is correctly recorded, land account closing balance will be equal revenues and loss. By doing revenues, we are going to maintain fundamental qualitative. Characteristic of relevancy. The other difference is balance should be carried out. This is first time revaluation. Non depreciable is revaluation. Land is non depreciable. Right now we want to discuss second time revaluation. Think prior to thirty first March twenty four end of the year. Think land is as given fair value. It has given fair value. That is market value. Therefore, this is the previous sales amounts. Think example ten thousand. <coughs> As well as given the evaluation reserves. <coughs> evaluation reserves are available two thousand. <coughs> It means they have a previous profit. Right now, the end of the current period previous amounts land re value. Ah, uh, think example seven thousand. As at thirty first March two thousand twenty, uh, for end of the month period. As at thirty first March two thousand twenty four, just given like that as at this month. Uh, fair value is given now, fair value, and variable is also given balance also available. Therefore, if it has given fair value, it has fair value already. Therefore, this is a second time revaluation. As is given, revenues and reserves account balance also available two thousand. It means they have a previous profit. Right now, think how to calculate profit and loss. Normally, land is an undepreciable asset. Therefore, normally should be compared with cost value as well as revenues and amounts normally. But if it has given fair value, second time revaluation, you have to compare with previous year revenues and amounts as well as this year revenues and amounts. 
cannot be compared with cost value as they are value is given previously realized amounts this value therefore this is the previously realized amounts and this year realized amount is equal to 7000 now think this year realized amount lower than the previous value therefore differential should be considered as a loss therefore this year loss is equal to 3000 but think there were previous profit available it has given real and resource account balance when recording this year loss Think normally loss will be equal other expense. Other expense. But they have a previous profit. Profit should be equal other comprehensive income. Now think this year loss, second time loss, they have a previous profit. When recording this year loss, normally loss should be equal other expense. But now cannot be equal total value. Reason they have a previous profit. Amount equal for previous profit. Other comprehensive income within better. And balance thousands should be equal under other expense. If it has given comfort sum, this value should be equal property plant and equipment schedule 3000. If it for land decrease, and this value should be equal other expense as expense, but under other companies income should be recorded within brackets as a revaluation, land realization loss. Reason they have a previous year profit. If it is first time, this value should be equal total value other expense. But this is second time previous profit available when recording this year loss amount equal for previous profit should be record other comprehensive income within brackets and balance part should be recorded under other expense. Let now the previous year loss this year profit. Then this is previous profit this year loss. Right. In this example, now it has not given real and resource account balance. Not given real and resource account balance. And second time realization is given, think example 15,000. Second time realization is again 15,000. And given within that as land realization loss, it has given adjustment, land revaluation loss previous year as at 31st March 2023. Think about this is previous year realization loss equal. Uh, think example 3000. They have a previous loss. Same example. Think land fair value is given. If it has given fair value, this is second time revaluation. Already revalues. If it has given cost value, first time revaluation. Right. This is the previous reverse amounts. And this is the this year reverse amounts. But given adjustment, land reverse loss 30 plus March 23 mean last year. Second time revaluation, but previous loss available. <laughs> Think how to calculate and how to records. Land is an undepreciated assets. Normal cost value should be compared with reverse amounts, but not given cost value. It has given fair value. That is the previous reverse amounts. Should be compared with this year reverse amount equal 15,000. Therefore, this year reverse amount lower than the, higher than previous value. Therefore, second time profit. This year profit equal 5000. Now think how to record this year profit. This is second time profit. If it is first time, total value should be record on other income, other company's income. Profit should be record other comprehensive income. But there are no previous loss available. If it is loss, should be record other expense income statement. Think second time profit, but previous loss available. Normally, profit should be recorded other company's income, but they have a previous loss. When recording this year profit, total value cannot be recorded on other company's income. Amount equal for previous loss should be recorded other expense within brackets. Balance part should be recorded under other company's income. Think there are three marks. Profit should be recorded property, plan, and equipment schedule. If it for land increase and and other expense should be recorded within brackets as a land reverse and profit one marks as a balance part should be recorded under other company's income as a land reverse and surplus. Therefore, this is second time revaluation. Non depreciable assets land is an undepreciable <laughs> reason for revaluation to maintain fundamental qualitative characteristic of relevancy as a, as a result of revaluation. Historical cost concept is violated. Think non-depreciable non 
first time revaluation as a second time revaluation. First time can be calculated by comparing cost value and revaluation amounts. But second time revaluation, you have to compare with previous year revaluation amounts as well as this year revaluation amounts. Then think previous year profit this year loss, how it records, and previous year loss this year profit, think how it records.